Hi everyone, this is Stephen, and welcome back to this Wealthy Education Advanced Technical Analysis course. Today we are going to be talking about our last momentum indicator, and that is the Commodity Channel Index. So let's get right to the Commodity Channel Index, or CCI. The CCI was developed originally as a commodity trend indicator, but it can also be used with stocks, forex, etc. CCI is used to identify a longer term trend and then pullbacks within that trend. The trend can be either bullish or bearish. CCI can then provide entry and exit points within the trend. So if we have a bullish trend and a pullback, CCI helps identify the pullbacks and where to enter the trade from a bullish perspective, and just the opposite with a bearish trend. CCI, like many of our other technical indicators, should be used in combination with other indicators for confirmation. CCI generally trades in a range from negative to positive 100. A move over positive 100 is a buy signal in the larger trend because it indicates that the stock or market is moving in a bullish trend. CCI under negative 100 should be sold as it identifies that the stock is moving into a bearish trend. You can also use channel re-entry to give buy and sell indicators. So if CCI moves above positive 100 and then re-enters the channel, meaning it breaks below 100, that can be used as a sell signal. And if the CCI breaks below negative 100 and then re-enters the channel at negative 100, that can be used as a buy signal. As we'll see in the charts in just a minute, we can use the longer term time frame to identify the general trend. And then we'll use breaks of the channel on a shorter term time frame to trade the stock on pullbacks. So let's take a look at CCI on a chart. Let's use a chart of Bank of America to see how CCI works. This is a weekly chart of Bank of America. We're going to go to Indicators, and we're going to type in CCI, and the Commodity Channel Index comes up. And now we're going to add the MACD for confirmation of our CCI. So we add the MACD to the chart. And let's take a look at two major signals that the CCI gave us. The first one was in November of 2016. We had a break above the 100 line. This is the positive 100 line, a zero line, and then the negative 100 line. So we break above the positive 100 line, and the stock enters an uptrend. When we come back to the positive 100 line. You can use that as a sell signal. So we would have got into the stock around 1675 and then exited the stock around 22 and a half. At the same time, we note that our MACD had gone to a buy. The CCI traded flat. So on a weekly basis, you're not going to get a lot of signals on the CCI. Again, this is giving us the overall trend that we can trade within. We had a false signal here in July of 17, where it broke above 100. And then we get another positive signal in September of 17. And this triggered the stock moving up. We also had confirmation with the MACD at that point. So we had the buy with the MACD. And we had the buy with the CCI. You could use the movement back into the 100 range as a sell signal. But the MACD did not turn to a sell here in November of 2017. There was a slight pullback in the stock. But then we can see that it continued upward to the 32 and a half level. So without confirmation of the MACD on this sell, you'd likely not take the trade and exit your position. What you could do at this point with the CCI going to a sell is move your stop closer in anticipation that the stock may possibly move down. Now let's move to closer and in time. We have a sell signal here in June of 18 
on the CCI. We get a we've already had a crossover of the MACD back in March. So this indicates we are in a bearish trend. We come back to a small bullish trend, and now we have the CCI turning negative once again on a weekly basis as the stock has moved down. So let's zoom in to a daily basis. And we can see the CCI is negative. It's gone down below the negative 100 level around September 13th, again on September 28th, and then again in early October. And during this time, we can see that the, the stock has continued to move down. And these are the, the pullbacks that we were talking about earlier. You have a pullback here. A pullback here. And this bearish trend. So when the CCI went bearish, you have a bearish trend. You could have shorted as the CCI moved into positive territory. Covered your short when the CCI went bearish again. Back to negative 100. And then re-shorted when CCI moved back into positive territory again. So here you have the CCI identifying pullbacks within the bearish trend. You have your MACD continuing to trend down. Not quite crossing with each of these two trades. So we have the bearish trend identified on a weekly basis, and then we can trade that bearish trend on a daily basis when the CCI pulls back into the channel. So that's the CCI, or the Commodity Channel Index, on a weekly and daily basis with the stock of Bank of America. Thank you for watching this video on the Commodity Channel Index. In our next video, we're going to move on to volume indicators and we're going to look at on balance volume. Thank you again and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.